Hey there, Switch players. I'm here in Gotcha Racing on Nintendo Switch, playing with a pro controller. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of the game. Uh, first thing I would do is go into your uh, button settings and choose RC controls. Okay, RC settings. That way drift is done with your right shoulder button. That's what you want. The default controls make drifting very complicated and you're going to struggle. So this is Grand Prix mode, all right? This is where you find some of your basic controls like shop and garage. Uh, shop is very cool. This is where you can sell parts, combine parts, and uh, get new parts using the gotcha capsule machine. So this is basically a claw machine or a crane machine, right? And you're going to spend your money to um, get gotcha balls inside those balls and parts. That's a coiled engine, right? So the number is what you see here. That's a... Those are pluses, so it adds five speed, adds two acceleration, and then nothing else. We're going to talk about fusion another time. Today is the basics, right? We're going to roll this again, see what we get. So we got a honeybee. That's actually a new body. A whole, not a whole new car, but just a whole new body. So you can have your configuration intact and just swap the body. This gives you 11, 7, 9, 9, and 10, and you get auto drive. The problem with auto drive is once it wears off, you lose 40%. Um, of your cornering ability, which is a lot. That cornering ability comes back once your special meter builds back up. Let's roll one more ball. Maybe you can see a um, something with a trade-off. That's a quail engine. Nope, one more ball. It's really random, so that's part of the problem. This is a rare one. See the sun coming out? A drone beetle, that's a new body. All right, cool. So let's go back, and this is where you sell your parts. They've got parts you don't want, right? Two coil engines, you can sell them. Then, of course, there are fusion. We're going to worry about fusion another time. Let's go back to the basics, your garage. This is your car, and this is where you're going to customize your car. You're looking at my car right now. This is one of four cars I can have at any given time. And if you press to the right, that's my second car. So I've configured two cars at the same time. And I can choose between them at any given time when I race based on the track I'm racing. So let's go look at this car. All right, that's the tourist body that I've got. Its boost is what you see in yellow. It has the cruise control. It switches into auto drive. Now, if I go in here, I can change that body. And if you look to the left, see those minuses? That's what this limey body would do if I switched to it. Now it's the dwarf body. See all the minuses? This one, all the plus. This one minus. So you can see I have the better body right now for my configuration. If I was to put this anaconda body on, I'd lose six points top speed. I'd gain four points acceleration. I'd lose seven points cornering. I'd gain six points drift. Okay, you get that? That's how it works. This is zero because that's the body I'm on right now. Then there's the engine. Same thing, minus 4, minus 10. This is the one I'm using now. Minus 7, minus 16, right? That's what they do. Same with the tires. This one gives me a plus 6 drift, but minus acceleration, minus cornering, minus brake. Burst tires, minus everything except for drift. Big plus, though, plus 11 drift. So if you're using a course that really needs strong drift, you might actually want those tires, such as the, the course I was just talking about where you have to use um, strong drifting to get past it. Then there's accessories that haven't unlocked any yet. So once you've configured your car, or two or three or four, you're going to go ahead and race. Let's real quick try um, fusion together maybe because I have not done that yet. So we'll try it together. So let's do a V5 engine and combine it with a coil engine. Chance of success, 41%. It failed. So I have... Uh, Another coil engine. Let's try it again. It failed. I don't really care. This is all junk. Used body bear tires. Uh, rubber sandals. 100% chance of success. So, there you go. I successfully did it. What did it unlock? I have no way. Oh, it fused to the used body bear, which changed its stats. So, let's actually um, now fuse the tires I have equipped with... Um, used body bear tires and see what happens awesome i'm gonna do it again with burst tires 
So um, it's weird. It should show me a before and after, and it didn't do that. But you can see I actually gained drift points. So that's cool. I have two fusions now for that. I can now combine my uh, current uh, charcoal engine, or my rotary engine, maybe, with a V5 engine, 66%. That failed. So I lost that engine. That's okay. It's all junk. Don't care. Let's go ahead and try a race or two. I'll show you how to get things done. I'm going to blast through these. This is going to be so easy. This car does, uh, with this body does uh, auto control, which I really don't like, but um, it's got better acceleration. That's why I'm using it, because there is a course in this circuit that is uh, really heavily relies on drifting and you tend to hit the walls a lot and need to accelerate a lot so the acceleration is what helps keep me um, in the game because you're so slow right now it's hard to beat the cars I'll show you what I mean later on so this is a stupid course I mean you literally do nothing in this course but drive in circles it's just it's the first course let me show you how auto drive works watch this so this is my X button right I press the X button Right there, that activates your special. My special is auto drive. I pressed it. You see action flashing on the screen. Oh, you can't because I'm in the way, right? There is action flashing in the screen. Problem is once that stops flashing and auto drive starts working, I lose my performance. See the minus? So I've lost some performance until that green bar fills back up. I get my normal performance back and I could use auto drive again if I wanted to. So there you go, that's done. Now, one of the bodies I have actually puts out an oil slick. If you want, we can try that for the next race. <laughs> Again, the races very, very quickly get more complicated than that. So let's change our body to the oil slick car. I've never actually used it. There you go, Anaconda. So we're gonna go back and join the race now. I wish there was a way to change the car from this screen here, but there isn't. So this is a very, very uh, simple course again, but it starts to introduce some turns and curves. So here we go. We're going to oil slick um, a car. So I'm going to get in front and press X. There you go. Now we're in dirt now. Here's the thing about the oil slick. If you oil slick in front of a car and it doesn't hit it, the car gains performance, so there is a, a punishment for missing. They really want you to hit. You're going to see I just drifted. To drift, you just t in RC controls, you tap the right trigger, and then you counter steer to stop the drift. Did you see it? So I'm, I'm, I'm turning right, I'm tapping, and then I'm counter steering. Let's do the oil again. There it is. Puts out a bunch of oil. And if they don't uh, touch that oil, they actually they get around it, they gain performance. So... You want to be careful. You want to use it in a track that you're having difficulty with and you find yourself constantly with the pack. That way you can knock a few cars back. This isn't the greatest course in the world for drifting. But there you go. There's a nice drift right there. And that's the first place. We're going to gain some money. We can use that money to unlock more gotcha balls. Here's the thing. There's no entry fee for these first two races. So even if you lose the later races and you can't afford to get in, it's okay. You can just go back and play these first two races. They cost no money to enter. You look to the left, you'll see there's no money to enter, but a $100 prize. So that's great. And then you can use that for gotcha balls. Okay, you ready? I'm going to turn this game down just a touch. So here is the hardest one. Uh, oh, fan, uh, newbie hunting. We're not going to do that yet. But we are going to switch cars. I'm going to show you a car with boost. You ready? So again, we're just changing the body. Everything else is staying the same. See, this one says boosts all stats till you crashed. This one says boost number three. Gain a boost when holding down the gas. But you lose 20% of your performance once it's off. However, notice I'm going to lose seven points acceleration and nine points drift. That's why you don't want that car if you're doing a course that requires lots of drifting. And newbie hunting, too, requires lots of drifting. So let's crush this one. It has lots of straightaways. So you're going to see that's great for boosting because it has lots of straightaways, right? You ready? There's my boost. Now watch when it wears off, what happens? 
Or if you press the brake or let go of the gas, it also stops. You have to gas at all time. Now look, I've lost 20% performance while it refills. That's pretty sharp. Um, you really gotta be careful about that. See, now I got my speed back because it wore off. My car's not very fast yet, so it really doesn't matter terribly. But the boost is incredible and will really help you to win early on in, in the race if you're lucky enough to get this car. It is a rare car, so you may not be able to unlock this car without you know playing for a bunch of gotcha balls. I actually got it first, so I don't know how that worked out so well for me, but I got it first. So anyway, this course is mine. This is all over. I'm not going to boost until I see it straight away. I don't even need to, to drift. It's so easy. And this race is over. That's first place again. I'm going to show you the next race. That's the hardest one in this whole circuit. It requires a ton of drifting. So we're going to switch our car. Are you ready? We're going to go to the garage. And we're going to switch our just our body. The tires, everything else can stay the same. We're going to switch to one that's got a huge plus um, for drifting. I mean for acceleration. I'm sorry. I want plus acceleration. I don't want to lose any drifting though. This is plus seven and plus nine drifting. So that's going to be super. We're going to do that. Where is it? Plus seven acceleration, plus nine drift. So the Anaconda car, and that's got the oil slick actually. I wasn't going to choose this one, but I realized its stats are actually better. Here we go. One thing uh, you will notice is there are practically no load times in this game. Watch when I press the button. Boom, straight to the track. I mean, straight to the game. This game is so, so, so snappy. All right, this course is really, really, really hard. And you're gonna need to power slide and, and drift. I have itches. It's my anxiety. You're gonna power slide like crazy to get through this course. I'm probably not even gonna, gonna place because I have such a bad start. You wanna really have a good start. You see the oil slick? It's very tiny. You need to have a good start and a perfect run. This is one of the hardest courses. This is the hardest course in grade F by far. Matter of fact, every other course is easy. So easy you can blast to first place or second place every time. But this course here, no. It took me about 25 tries to place uh, second. And prior to that, my best placement was fifth. And prior to fifth, my best placement was seven. So it's really hard. But that's your drifting right there. You see I'm tap the button, then I counter steer to stop the drift. That's why I want a car with good acceleration because the acceleration will get you um, out of those turns quick. And if you hit the wall, it'll get you off the wall quick. You look at the track, you'll see I'm actually, I'm actually not too far away from everybody. Had I been trying a little harder, paying a little more attention, got a better start, I might have done okay here. Or maybe my various blobs of oil will uh, stop the cars. I don't know if that oil stays there lap after lap or if I just need to drop it directly in front of a car, I'm not sure. But uh, this track doesn't belong. This track's way out of place. It doesn't belong here at all. It belongs in a higher class. I don't know why it's in this grade F, because it's really hard for a beginner to the game. I'm gonna place fifth. You'll see how much faster their cars are than me. I mean, they are way faster. And this car has got upgraded tires, upgraded body, upgraded engine. It's got fusion, it's got everything and I'm nowhere near the other cars. And uh, that's not enough to place. So when looking at your rankings, it'll show you, you know, first, second, third place. This will show me nothing. But I got my entry fee back. So you'll see right here. Now, I don't know how to get past grade F. I've gotten first, 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 second, second, second. I don't know if it wants a first for everything. Maybe that's the case, because I haven't figured out how to get past grade F. But getting first in newbie hunting is gonna be really hard. European Cup and Fox class won't be very hard. That, that's totally doable, but newbie hunting, no. But then there's uh, rankings, where you can look at your ranking. Then there's time attack, normal and event. So there's uh, Easter Wars, which is going on right now. We can uh, choose between two cars, as you can see. But you can't change the configuration of your car. So let's compete in the Easter event real quick which is going on right now because it's Easter. And now I have oil, but you'll notice oil does me no good because 
there's no other cars on the road. So I wanted to choose the car with boost. I screwed up and didn't do that. And I should have also went to the garage and chosen the best car I've got. Best speed, best everything. All right, so there you go. Finish that up. That's the Easter event. Let's see how we did. Track record is 303. So um, I guess I did pretty crappy. It's going to submit my ranking online, which is super cool. I don't know if it's actually going to tell me like how I did. No, it didn't. That's hilarious. Oh, here's rankings. Uh, top 100. Oh, boy. Oh, I can check through all the different races and tracks and everything. We're not doing that now. And uh, then there's uh, time attacks, which are normally you can do mountain pass. You can do wild. Fairy tale road. Pick all these different tracks and time attack it. Go against uh, leaderboard times and your own, obviously, best time as well. So uh, time attack is super cool. I mean, look, some of these tracks are super easy. We should try blasting through one with a uh, boost. Like this one here, Speedway. Choose the, choose the limey car and blast through it. Ready? Because that's got boost and lots of straightaways, right? So let's try it right now. I'm going to blast through it so quick. Watch this. We're boosting right off the bat. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so I still managed to hit the walls. But you'll see one of the side effects of using the boost is that I lose my speed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I suck. Oh, man. That's not a good lap, I don't think. Is that a good lap? We gotta be really careful. Boost is, uh... Really, there's a large price to pay for boosting. And when you try to drift while boosting, it doesn't go very well. No slowing down probably get me from crashing right there. 24... Oh, yes. See, I panicked earlier and, and I hit the drift button and I didn't need to. I could have made that turn. Oh, I'll have to redo this another time. Crush it. That was a much better lap. So that's time attack. That's how that works. Records 108. Is that me? 1087 and new record lap 21. I could totally beat that too. So let's upload my ghost data ranking to the uh, track. I mean, that can't be a record, can it? I hit the wall and everything. Or is it just my personal record? I don't know. It's going to show uh, that's submitting my ranking data, but it doesn't actually um, show me where I fell into that. That's pretty funny. I think it's just my my record. But uh, super cool. So that's the basics of Gotcha Racing. A really cool game. There are even achievements. I earned the world debut achievement. The sharing is carrying achievement. The go for broke achievement. The playing mechanic. All these achievements. Now I'm trying to clear grade F. Because there's E, D, C, B, A. And I have not figured out how to clear grade F. So I'd love for it to tell me uh, how I can clear grade F and get that achievement. These red checks, uh, these are the ones I've actually achieved. If you can actually see them. Sorry about my face. I forgot I moved it. These are ones I've done. So, very cool. There's a lot to go after. Perfect game for Switch. Bite size, short races. Great for on the go. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to make some more uh, tutorial videos and explanation videos on this game. If I can figure out how to get past Grade F. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and visit me at playwithgreg.com. Bye.